Hello everyone, this is a short follow-up video to my Google Nest camera review that I posted a few days ago. In that video I also did a comparison with the older Nest uh, outdoor camera and I noticed that the video quality during the day was significantly better with the new Google Nest camera but at night the new camera actually performed less. Videos were cloudy and less detailed. I thought the camera was to blame but something else was actually happening. Special thanks to Tofu Robots who pointed out in the comments that uh, Masterstein anti-theft mount might be the cause for this. I'm very grateful to him for sharing his experience. He said that the mount degrades the night vision by interfering with the infrared lights. And the solution is actually very simple. The inside of the anti-theft mount should be black instead of white. So I had to try this out for myself and in this video I will show you the way I solved it and the results of course. Now I read on the internet that some people painted the inside of their anti-theft mount black and I initially wanted to try that as well. But at the hardware store I saw that uh, suitable paint for plastics was almost as expensive as the anti-theft mount itself. So this solution seems to me a bit redundant. So yeah, I decided to do something different and I just cut a piece of black plastic from a simple black folder like the one you see in this video. The first thing I did, of course, is to take the Nest camera from its place again and I removed the anti-theft mount hood. And yes, as you can see, I didn't really measure the insert I wanted to make. I just cut a straight piece to see if it fits and that actually went uh, well the first time. It wasn't quite right yet, so I trimmed it a bit afterwards. So yes, this is the result. And on the inside there was still some glue left from a sticker from the factory, so I didn't use any additional glue or tape at all. This piece of plastic stays nicely in place, even when you slide the camera back. And I have to say, it doesn't look bad. Let's continue with the comparison. I will compare the old and the new camera again, and also the new camera with and without the black hood. Right now you will see the old and the new camera side by side. The new camera, which is on the right, doesn't have the plastic insert yet and you can already see that the video of the old camera looks a lot better. Now I've added the black insert between the camera and the Wasserstein anti-theft mount as I demonstrated before. By doing this, the video quality improves just like Tove Robot said. The video looks a lot cleaner and there's more contrast. Now on the left is the new camera without the black insert and on the right is the new camera with the black insert. You can definitely see that the image on the left is more foggy. It's almost like the camera lens has a smug on it. Now, just for the comparison, I will also show the full video with and without the black insert that I made for this comparison. Let's take a look. Finally, I will show you some of the videos of the new looks of the Wasserstein anti theft mount with the black insert. I definitely think it's an improvement. Too bad they didn't think of this before. It seems to me like it's a quick fix, so maybe they will add it to the product in the future. I'm curious what you think about this solution. And also, let me know if you found this video helpful, and I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. Until next time.